Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, jam pass questions for 2019 in preparation for our 2020 jam that is coming up very soon. And today we're going to be looking at biology. And these questions are called from the 2019 past question in preparation for the 2020 jam examination so i'm going to be looking at the first question a population is defined as a collection of what now if you check through the modern biology textbook where you are going to be seeing the what population is population is actually similar organisms if you talk about population of human beings you know human beings are mammals they are similar kind of animals staying together in a geographical area, say Nigeria. So if you pick all the human beings in Nigeria, this is the eastern part, western part, northern part. Similar human beings, you call it population. You understand? So if you check through the options, you're going to see the option number one, similar organisms found in the same habitat. Similar organisms that bred in the same, no? Similar organisms that interbreed, no? similar organism that eats the same thing so you look at the 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 the, the now the uh, verbs eat population is not about eating similar things it's not about interbreeding interbreeding simply means having intercourse and giving birth to younger ones breeding also means uh, having intercourse within the same types of organism but found that's actually the answer to this so a is the answer to this so you can simply found it find this under population in biology so let's take out look at the number two question which of these combinations is common to plants and animals so all these are the plant if you look at plant cells uh, organization of life where you have cells tissues and organs as well as system you know there are three major or uh, four major organizations of life talk about cell is the sm smallest then after cell you talk about tissue then after tissue you talk about organ then after organs you talk about systems so you have this is the smallest unit of life followed by these cells doing the same work when they come together they form tissue when tissues doing similar work come together they form organ when organs that work together to perform a particular function they form what we call system now which of these either cells tissues or organs are similar to what is found in male and female cells so these are actually things that are in the cell of male and man and animal or animals and plants so plasma membrane is in both of them so if you know the cell this is plant cell and this is uh, okay plant and animal cell inside them you have the nucleus you have the mitochondria you have the plasma so chromosomes are there mitochondria lysosome so all these are found in cells of both plants and animals. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. So let's check out other questions. Question number three, we have which of these animals is not metametrically segmented now in segmentation of animals we have majorly uh, animals like tapeworm earthworm and centipedes you know them by their shapes that's what we call segmentation you know tapeworm so i hope you know centipede Tapeworm, all of them are having this uh, type of shape. But you look at shark, shark has a very different shape. If you know what shark is, it's a kind of fish, very big. You understand? They are not having this type of what we call metamerical met met segmentation. Now let's look at number four question. Some of the major elements required in plants are there are some elements that are majorly required in plants in order to so uh, supply them with nutrients and such elements are potassium nitrogen phosphorus sodium and calcium this molybdenum is not supposed to be there and that is what is making this one not to be among what is needed now let's look at number 
number five question in human reproduction the zygote formed as a result of fertilization gets attached to the wall of the uterus the process is called what implantation implantation is actually the process whereby the zygote gets attached to the uterus so that is implantation pregnancy or no is when the male and female uh, or, uh, or reproductive cells get together which is similar to why sexual reproduction is when you get offspring by a man coming in contact with a woman cohesion is simply when two things are brought together that is cohesion so implantation is actually in the uterus you have the child the fetus is still very small so through the umbilical cord it gets attached to the uterus and that makes implantation the answer to this question so please if you like this hit the subscribe button by the right hand side of your screen uh, if you have any questions and concerns drop them in the comment section uh, thanks for listening and god bless you